Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is August 14th, 2024 and Everton have made an offer for Vitor Roque. Also, Deco is considering the Luis Diaz option for the left wing position. And finally, Hansi Flick wants Pablo Torre to stay. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and I do apologize for not uploading any videos yesterday I had an incredibly long day at work by the time I was done. It was already midnight, maybe 1 a.m So I went to sleep. This is why I'm bringing you this early video so we can recap all the news that came out of Camp Barca Yesterday, of course today we do have the podcast so you'll hear more news later today So stay tuned to the channel. Having said all that make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel drop a comment and let's begin with the news because Barcelona have officially confirmed that they have transferred Julian Araujo to Bournemouth. Of course, it's something we already knew about. I told you about this in a couple of videos. I think it was last week. But Barcelona have transferred the American-Mexican fullback to the Premier League, to Bournemouth more specifically, for 10 million euros. And now this has been officially confirmed by Barcelona. Now, speaking of the Premier League, we do have an offer for Vitor Roque, and it's no other than from Everton. It looks like Everton have offered Barcelona 25 million euros fix plus 3 million euros in variables for the Brazilian player. However, it's reported that this offer has been rejected by Barcelona because, of course, Barcelona did pay 30 million euros for Vitor Roque fix plus 30 million euros variables, which, of course, have not been paid yet. And if Barcelona do end up offloading the player, it's likely that most of it will not be paid either. But since Barcelona did pay the 30 million euros in VIX, they are rejecting any offers that are below the 30 million euros because they're not looking to lose money on this transfer. But it is reported that Barcelona will continue negotiations with Everton to see if Everton can up the offer or maybe with another club that can offer more than 30. Because even though Barcelona were hoping to send Vito Roque on loan, they preferred him to go on loan to see maybe if he can adapt to European football and then come back and be the star we all thought he could be. Now, Barcelona are considering offloading on a permanent basis because Barcelona have a huge, huge problem. And that problem is that La Liga is set to begin in only two, three days. And we have many, many players that have not been registered yet. So Barcelona need more financial fair play wiggle room. And how do you get more room on your financial fair play? Well, by increasing your income, and one way to increase your income is by offloading players. So even though Barcelona were hoping to send Roque on loan, they are now considering offloading on a permanent basis so they can get that income, they can factor in to the financial fair play, and they can register many of the players they have yet to register. Now, more news while we're still on the topic of the Premier League because it's reported that Deco is now considering Luis Diaz as an option for the left wing position. Now we know that Nico Williams is not coming to Barcelona, so Deco is still working on reinforcing that left wing position. It's a position that we don't have anyone there. Uh, it's a big weakness for the team, so now it's reported that Deco is considering the option of Luis Diaz. Of course, as you might recall from my previous videos, Luis Diaz was always Deco's number one option for that position. Nico Williams was Jean Laporta's number one option. But now that Nico Williams is not coming, it's reported that Deco has put the name of Luis Diaz back on the table. Now, English media outlets are stating that under the new coach, Luis Diaz is not an untouchable player at Liverpool. And therefore, the Premier League team is open for Luis Diaz leaving, but they would want something, a minimum of 60 million euros. Um, and as such, Deco is considering this option. In my opinion, I think Luis Diaz obviously would be a great addition to the team, but it's going to be an incredibly difficult operation because if we because 60 million euros, even though you might say, well, that's how much we would have paid for Nico Williams. Yeah, but remember, the money that we were going to pay for Nico Williams, we have used it for Dani Olmo, so we're going to have to figure out a different way to generate those 60 million for Luis Diaz. So I think it's going to be a very difficult operation. I don't personally see it happening, but who knows? Maybe Deco can pull off some miracles. Now, more news because... Hansi Flick has reportedly asked for the registration of 
Pablo Torre. Now, Pablo Torre was one of those players that seemed that he would be on his way out at the beginning of the summer. Barcelona were considering either loaning him out again or maybe even transferring him on a permanent basis. But after this preseason, it looks like Pablo Torre has impressed Hansi Flick. And as such, the German coach has requested from Barcelona to register Pablo Torre because he wants to count on him during this upcoming season. Now, the only problem is that Deco here has a difference of opinion. He would prefer to offload Pablo Torre, not so much because he doesn't like the player or his skills, but because he considers that the position that Pablo Torre plays in is pretty stacked. And since Barcelona are in desperate need to offload players to register the ones that we already have, then Deco considers that offloading Pablo Torre would be a better option, while Flick wants Pablo Torre registered. So we have a difference of opinions here. We'll see which one will win out, but just know that Flick wants Pablo Torre, Deco would prefer to offload him, which again begs the question, why did we sign Dani Olmo when we could have just kept Pablo Torre in that position and saved ourselves the 55 million euros that we paid for Olmo? But some things I'll just never understand. Now another player that Hansi Flick has asked for the registration is that of Inio Martinez, who has yet to be registered uh, with, uh, with as a Barcelona player. Of course, Inio Martinez signed a two-year contract. Barcelona were only able to register the first year of his contract, so the second year is still pending. And as such, Bar uh, Hansi Flick has asked from Barcelona to make an effort to register Inio Martinez. He wants to count on the Spanish defender. He's impressed with him and who wants Barcelona to register him. Now, we do know that Inio Martinez does have a clause in his contract that if Barcelona cannot register him, he can terminate his contract, unilaterally terminate his contract, and Barcelona would still owe him his uh, second year salary. But it seems that the player is willing to wait until the final day of the market for Barcelona to register him, which I gotta say that is pretty impressive because he could be he could risk not being registered and then eventually spending the first uh, half of the season until the winter transfer market sitting on the bench. Now Barcelona are currently working on the registrations not only of Inio Martinez. Uh, but also they have to register Alex Baye and of course Pau Victor, which was Barcelona's uh, first signing of the summer. And then of course there's Dani Olmo, who also needs to be registered. So Barcelona will definitely have their work cut out for the remainder of, uh, of the summer transfer market. So until the last day of August, because they need to offload players ASAP in order to clear space on their wage bill and be able to register all these players. And this is a big problem because again, La Liga is right around the corner and we still have many players that have not been registered and as such, they won't be able to play during that first week. Anyways, that is all the news for this video. Again, this video is recapping yesterday's news since I wasn't able to upload a video. We do have the podcast today on the channel, so make sure to stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, and as always, Peace, cabars.